Virtual reality is virtual, virtually real, but who will create the content? If a startup called Voxelus has its way, you will. Daniel Turdeman is a senior writer for Fast Company and joins us now. Welcome to the show, Daniel. Hi, thank you very much for having me. Thanks for being here. Now, are you at the Oculus event in Los Angeles right now? I am literally on my way over to the event right now. Uh, uh, so if you hear some traffic noises, it's because I'm crossing streets in Hollywood. It is Los Angeles after all, Hollywood, etc. So there is going to be traffic. So tell us about Voxelus. What is this thing all about? Uh, this is about user-generated content for virtual reality. Um, they're sort of attacking the idea that, you know, when all the virtual reality hardware comes out, you know, uh, like the Oculus Rift when it uh, is released next year, uh, early next year, that there's going to be, you know, a dearth of, a dearth of content because no matter how many professional companies are making content it just doesn't scale to the amount that's going to like really get millions of people you know feeling satisfied with the hardware they buy so they think that uh users are the way to do it by making by by creating a system where just about anybody can make a, a virtual reality game uh they showed me a demo yesterday and, and they really made it happen in five minutes uh they created a very simple game uploaded it and i was able to uh, play it on gear vr this literally took five to ten minutes Hey, Daniel, thank you so much for doing this. And I really hope you are walking safely. Um, what platforms is, is this going to work on? Will it work on any VR platform? It's, yeah, it's cross platforms. And, and uh, They're platform agnostic is, is the way they put it. Uh, they built it on Unity, so it, it'll work. Uh, initially, it's going to be on Gear. Uh, it's going to be on Rift after that. But uh, they, they want it to be working on any um, VR system. And, um, and of course, the way this works is you have all these objects which are being created and they're, they're quickly churning them out and you essentially compile the, uh, the, the objects that they, they create. But will third-party companies or users be able to create objects or do they have to wait for the company to make them? Uh, no, so, so initially what they're, what they're launching right now is their built or their content creation system which comes preloaded with uh, a couple hundred objects. They said they're going to add more objects every um, every week or so. Eventually, though, they're going to create an app store. And in the app store, users will be able to uh, upload their own objects um, so that uh, so that anybody who's building can, you know, either use their own, use the ones that are preloaded, or buy ones from other people. All right. Well, uh, how about price and availability? What's what's uh, How can people get their hands on this thing? Uh, the content creation tool is available now. Um, and there's a link to that in my story. Um, the App Store is going to be later on. I can't remember off the top of my head exactly when they said. Um, and pricing is all going to be free. What you'll be paying for is that content. Um, if you want to like buy somebody's uh, object, if, somebody, if they make a really beautiful building or you know a landscape or something, you'll be paying for that. 